YouTube. Today, I got a very special build for y'all. I mean, this build has Hall of Fame Interceptor with a 96 steal. Hall of Fame Fast Feet with a 97 perimeter defense. And then has a 86 3 and a 90 mid range so you get that Tracy McGrady jump shot. Now, look, y'all. Y'all hit the light go fast last time, but I had some stuff to do, so I didn't end up getting a post. I wasn't even home, so that's on me, y'all. But today's light go we're setting it at 300 likes and y'all boys know the deal if we hit 300 likes we're back again tomorrow no excuses this time but i ain't trying to waste no time man make sure y'all like up the video hit that sub button and let's hop straight into this build now to get started with making the build you want to go shooting guard 6'5 180 and 72 on that wingspan now this ain't going to be your normal lock this is going to be a lock that is way faster and it's going to have better perimeter defense the paint defense ain't going to be lacking neither but of course it ain't going to be as good as like a 6'7 and i really went 6'5 because i wanted that speed and i also wanted to get a good three-pointer and mid-range while still having a super long wingspan but look man all for it we're gonna go with a 37 java dunk now you can leave this at 36 because that's the actual requirement you need but i'm pretty sure i get extra attributes at the end so i'm gonna leave it at 37 now for my standing dunk this is the more important thing on a lock build because you are going to be back and stuff like that so i took this up till i got to a 76 and please do not try to take your standing dunk up without having any job and dunk if that job and dunk is not up you will not do a single standing dunk it has to be at a 36 y'all don't ask me why it's 2k it don't make no sense to me neither but if that job and dunk is not up past the 36 you are not doing any standard dunks trust me i've tried it now last but not least i went with post control here it's a super cheap attribute and i wanted to get unpluckable on at least silver because even on a lock bill with low ball handle I'm still gonna go get my bucket sometime. You automatically got the pro dribble style and we're gonna end up having a high mid range as well. So you want to be able to rip through or do a snatch back or something and go try to get a midi sometime. And then the last thing we're gonna do here is take close shot up to a 60, not because we need it out of 60, but it's gonna end up going to a 60 when we turn our mid range and three pointer and all that up. Now, when it comes to shooting guard mid range, gotta get it up to a 90 right here and this is exactly why getting it up to a 90 is gonna give us tracy mcgrady jump shot now if you've watched my channel before you know i love that jump shot the whole 2k community uses that jump shot i mean it's the best smoothest jump shot in the game especially if you're 6 5 and up it's super smooth you want to make sure you get it and this also gives you ability to get all these shooting badges y'all but not only are we getting a 90 mid-range we're going to get us a 86 three-pointer as well and that's going to give us silver agent threes along with that limitless range badge on bronze now honestly if you only play park you don't really need limitless range on a lockdown but if you play pro-am or rec it does do good to have limitless range so you can actually extend the floor on the half and look y'all 90 mid range combined with the 86 three combined with tracy mcgrady jump shot you are not going to be missing i'm pretty sure i shoot 75 percent from three in the rig and i think like 83 percent from three in the park on this build like it's crazy and then lastly right here you don't have to put this up but i did like i said in my last video i like to be the one to shoot the free throws because i know i can green them it's super easy and it's extra points so i'll go with a 99 free throw now when it comes to shooting on this bill you're mainly going to be catching shooting clearly because you are a lock and for that reason you're probably not gonna miss you should be shooting a minimum of 65 percent from three on this build and like i said this is why a lot of locks are going with a high mid-range now because you're gonna get a good jump shot for cheap and y'all see what i do man every catch and shoot i am greening that thing and you can also fade from midi that's something i haven't did as much but you can do that as well now for my ball handle we end up going with the 42 right here and i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all for my speedwood ball we end up going with a 43. Now this really ain't for any certain reason, but other attributes are gonna get pulled up when you put your pass accuracy up. So we're gonna put this pass accuracy up to a 75. And you honestly just wanna have some kind of speed with ball, just a little bit at least, cause you don't wanna be super slow and stuff on the break. Like you'll see some lockdowns, they'll get a steal. And when they start trying to run with the ball, they are moving in slow motion. At least when you got a 40 something, you're gonna be running a 
decent amount faster than like a 25. And honestly, if there's anything you would like to take down to get pass accuracy up to a 77, that would make it a lot better as well. 75, of course, is fine, but if you get that 77, I don't know really what changes with it, but 77 is golden, y'all. Now for the defense, we're gonna start off with a 70 interior, y'all. Nothing too crazy, but that's gonna that's gonna be plenty in 2K. And then my two favorite stats as a lock. I went with a 97 per rim, and this build moves so fast, y'all. You actually end up getting Hall of Fame fast feet, and that was my main reason in making this build. Now, if you read the description for fast feet, it says speeds up, launches, and cuts defensively to assist in staying in front of the ball handler. Now, I don't know how y'all take that, but it's pretty much the same animations you get with a movable enforcer. So if somebody's jumping to the left and you cut them off, that's just gonna help with the cutoff. Same thing, they're going to the right, it's gonna help with the cutoff, and it's also gonna let you force pickups. It's actually a super good bag, but a lot of people don't have it on their locks and a lot of people don't talk about it because a lot of locks are going for a movable enforcer and you can't get both at the same time, really. Now, moving on to the steal, I went with a 96, but I'm gonna be the first one to tell you Hall of Fame Interceptor is not much better than gold, y'all. Now, right stick ripper on Hall of Fame, that's gonna be the badge that is a little bit better, but if y'all wanna save attributes, which y'all, I'm telling y'all, if you go with a 91 steal, it's gonna feel the exact same. When I tell y'all, I would never go higher than a 91 steal in 2K24 again, 91 still is the cutoff. There is no reason to go higher. But since I went with the 96, I'm gonna leave it like it is. It is still good. It's just not big enough upgrade for the amount of attributes you gotta use. Now for the block, we are going with a 72. And like I said, this build is not lacking on interior defense at all. The perimeter is just so good that it outshines everything else because you absolutely lock up on that perimeter. And the defense don't stop there neither because we are going to get a 72 defensive rebound and a 63 offensive rebound. That's why I'm saying we have absolute max defense on this build pretty much. Like the only other thing we can do is go with the 99 steal and get Hall of Fame glove, which would be lit, but it's gonna take way too many attributes and a 97 perimeter might as well be a 99 in this game. Now on defense, there really ain't much to say. Y'all know what the build is going to provide. I'm in every single lane. And the only reason I say a 96 still ain't worth it is because you can do all this with a 91 and it's almost the exact same. Now I don't got any clips of me contesting people and stuff like that because it just ain't something that I clip, but you're gonna get crazy contest on this build. Hall of Fame challenger, like I said, you can knock it down to a 91 steal and you will be in there on defense. Now for our physicals, this is something else that is gonna be way different than other lockdowns. Here we are going to get us a 93 speed and you're not gonna see this anywhere else, y'all. Most lockdowns have anywhere from like a 80 to like a 85 ish speed, we have a 93. It makes getting those lanes so much easier. But not only that, we are gonna go with 84 a cell as well. And that's why right here is because I just wanted to try out this badge. And I'm telling y'all, fast feet is probably the most underrated badge in the game. You get so many cutoffs with fast feet. And then every time you get a bump, you got a 96 steal, so you can just reach with right stick ripper and you get that a lot of the time too. Now for strength, I didn't really care about it too much on this build, but I wanted to get it up to around a 60. I went with the 61. The class badge really, it's not very good no more, but I went ahead and threw it on gold. Now it calls you a two way, three level threat because you're a good scorer as well, but this is a perimeter lockdown right here. I had to name it that because you are literally locking down everything on the perimeter. But yeah, y'all, that's it for me. Let me know what build y'all want to see next. There's going to be way more gameplays here soon. I know I've been doing a lot of build videos here recently, but I'll be having some full gameplays coming with these builds soon. I appreciate y'all boys watching. Like I said, let me know what build y'all want to see next, and I'm out. Peace.